what is going on guys welcome back to another episode of sc outdoors um it is gonna be a beautiful fall day today early november um days are shorter which sucks but it's gonna be close to 70 degrees um we have daylight till about 4 30 it's about nine o'clock um headed to visit a friend of mine or to meet a friend of mine um we're gonna decide where to go from there not 100 percent sure um we may hit smallmouth we also may hit some trout so but we're staying local so we're gonna figure it out it's like i said just gonna be a really nice day so we'll figure something out good um i guess i will see you guys uh whenever we are on whatever body of water that we decide to fish Got one. It's a good walleye, I think. Yep. Barely hooked. Not a bad one. That's a nice one. I haven't caught a while walleye that big. <laughs> Same spot each time. I feel like it's just a little sunfish. Molly? Yep, sunfish. The hair jig strikes again with the massive fish. There we go. Large, large mouth. Nice. First bass of the day. I think that's like a weir or something. What's that? Oh, yeah, I kind of see it. <laughs> they they cast up there. Nice, dude. That's a pretty one. Yeah, for lack of size at least. Are you, are you just jigging it or are you twitching it still? Just twitching it. Big's just with good hooks. The sunfish can hit pretty hard in this creek though. True. Yeah. Perch. Nice. Species number four. Having a good day over here. Oh uh, yeah. We're catching monsters of them too. Flared up.
Yes. Trout. It's a brownie. I knew if there was going to be one, he'd be in there. That's so cool. I thought maybe if there was going to be a trout around, he'd be in that hole right there. Looks pretty good. Might be wild. So. There we go, another one. This one's not too bad. Nice. This one's definitely wild. All right, folks, take a look at this fish. For sure a wild fish. So cool. There's nothing better than catching a wild fish in a warm water stream like this, a wild trout in a warm water stream like this. This is definitely not a wild trout stream. Uh, it is stocked. Not too far from here, actually, but we've only ever caught stock rainbows. Um, the stream has a couple trip, has one tributary with wild trout, at least that I know of. So these fish, I think, just swim into the bigger body of water in the colder months. So this has turned into a hell of a multi-species day. Yes. Yep. Can't tell, he might be stocked. Huh? He might be wild. Uh, I don't know, man. Hook uh, fell out. Nice. They've all had, all three of them have had different patterns now. I don't know. I think he's probably wild. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this video. It ended up being a pretty interesting day. Um, we decided on a smallmouth. That's what we were fishing for. Um, thought we could get one more good smallie day in on our uh, favorite creek. But we ended up having to spot jump a lot. Uh, tried jerkbait for a while. Got that walleye, but that was the only thing that I got. Um, switched to a hair jig. We we went to like two or three different spots, um, just trying to get a bite. Ended up getting a couple large mouth at that dam. Um, and then at the very end there, um, we decided I just wanted to throw a spinner on, see if I could find any trout, because I know there are trout here and there in this creek. So got to that very last hole of the day. That was the last hole of the day. Caught three trout out of it. So that was very cool. Um, interesting day. Like I said, caught caught five species of fish I think um, six really because I caught a fall fish but you're not going to see that I don't think I was recording but yeah very cool um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you did please subscribe and I'll see you next time here on SC Outdoors